Hey there guys, how's it going? Reaper here and I'm back with another painting video and this time up we're doing the Horde Brother which is essentially a massive ogre with a big hand. That's roughly how I'd look at this. Um, I've started off with standard grey primer as I always do and the first colour we're actually putting on there is cobalt skin as this model is predominantly skin so you gotta pay some attention to it and give it some loving. So we'll start off with the darker colour that I want and then we're gonna highlight it up. As you can see, like always with your first colour, you haven't got to be that precise as you're going to paint over the bits you get paint on anyway. So with the first colour it is just smother that on there anywhere around the areas you need it to be. And of course, being a skin colour, you've got to come, probably come back and do a second layer on some, only some areas to be fair. This one I only did came back on a couple of layers, a couple of um, areas majority of it does stick especially if you use a grey primer it's perfect for this sort of colour scheme as if I was using a black primer this would take two or three layers easy but then of course if I was using a white primer this will go on easy first time but then the darker colours would have to come back and be done again so that's why I stick with grey grey is a nice neutral colour that works perfect and pretty much all colours you paint onto it. There we go, that's the end of the skin and then we're moving on to the first metallic. As there's no point in doing anything else at the moment, the metallic is touching the skin so we just went straight into that. And it is rough iron. And you will see in just a sec there, um, that I didn't actually let the paint dry when I should have. And that's one thing I will say, if you're gonna get paint onto areas you are not painting that color, let it dry before you try and paint over it, as you have to put it on quite a bit thicker just to fix that part. But when you're something like this, it's not so bad. Like you can sort of make it work, as rough iron is gonna easily cover the skin color. And this rough iron is covering every single metal part on this body. I didn't use any other metallics for this as I want it to look dirty and grimy as this is supposed to be a zombie orc. Well it's a zombie ogre but it's part of the orc horde in zombie side. So it's not going to be clean. And also with a colour such as this you do want to take a bit more care even around the areas that you haven't painted yet as painting over this is going to be a lot more difficult than painting over the flesh. Next up we've moved on to leather brown and this is for straps and the satchel he has. I don't do his actual, I want to say skirt but I don't actually think it's a skirt but his loincloth that's the one. Um, I don't actually do his loincloth in this colour. Leather brown is just for straps and that big old bag.
the leather brown. Next up, we're on to skeleton bone. And of course, it's for the bones. That's mostly what this color is built for. Look, he's got these. I want to say they're bones, but I'm not 100% sure that they actually are. Because of where they are, it doesn't look like it should be there. But he has spikes either way coming out of his elbow. So they're getting painted up bone color. And along with all the fingernails and teeth and I think that might actually have been it. Oh no actually, sorry, there is a bone sticking out of his back which also gets painted up in the bone colour. That's it for the bone. And I did forget about the little skulls on his belt as well. But next up on to hemp rope and this is for his skirt. This is just covering everything left on the skirt apart from the pig. Like this guy actually has a pig strapped to his shirt, his skirt. He just wanders around with it it seems. The hemp rope, and that is the majority of the base colors already done now. Like, we've got the crusted saw here for what looks like a rack of ribs sticking out of the bag, along with his tongue. And because there is a rack of ribs in his bag, I figured paint around the inside of the bag red as well because there's gonna be blood. It's the only way to really explain it. Also, around these weird spikes, I figured let's put some blood. It sort of breaks it up a little bit and makes it more, look more fresh, essentially. Um, obviously, you could do that or not do that, or even go further than I did and have the actual blood running down the elbow. As I've just sort of done it, just it's just peeked out and it's there. But that was it for the crusted saw. Now onto barbarian flesh and the pig. It's just the whole pig is painted in barbarian flesh. There we go, that's it. That is all of the base colors for this model done. Now we're on to the first highlight stage. And the only highlight stage to be fair actually, because I don't highlight anything else. Um, this is Corpse Pale, and this is just all raised areas of the flesh. But well, all raised areas plus a little bit extra. As I like to put a little bit extra in, so when you do the wash onto it, it mixes a little bit more and looks more blended. Instead of just a weird shiny bit on the top layer.
that's all the highlights for the skin done and the, all the highlights for the model done. Now on to Phoenix Flames and that is just the eyes and a small pouch you put on his belt. And this pouch can be literally any colour, it's just that I haven't noticed it when I had that out, so that's the colour it's been. Of course, you could always do the eyes, being a zombie, you could go with the crusted saw for the eyes as well, but I figured, let's make it yellow, something different. And now we're on to the wash stage and flesh wash for the flesh. I can't really explain that any other way. That's mainly that's what the colour is built for, so whack it on the flesh. It gives it a nice sort of ready brown colour, as, especially when you mix it with corpse pale. It sort of, it works. And it actually, it gives you that dirty look, but he still looks pale skinned. Because of course this guy is supposed to be dead. And next up is the other half of the wash stage and it is soft tone on everything else like the uh, skirt, the bags, the metallics and the straps all getting the corpse pale treatment and of course the soft tone treatment and all this does is just essentially highlights without highlighting as I suppose low lights is the correct term it darkens the recessed areas but stains the entire colour as well, so it all sort of blends together. And that's it for the model. It's now just black base as always, and then ready to go kill a load of players. This is a very strange sculpt as well. I've never known something to have a pig attached to it. And that is brilliant for me. It's something that stands out on the table, especially if I choose to use this in D&D. It's just an ogre dragging a pig around. What, who's not gonna fear that when it rocks up? But that is it. That is the video done and the mini done. And I have enjoyed this mini, actually. I really enjoy painting flesh, so I'm gonna have to do it more often, I think. But that's it for the video for now guys, like, subscribe if you did enjoy and I will catch you in the next one. See ya.